Yeah, baby girl. Good girl. That's nice. Come good on. girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. So Polly, we think, might have inhaled something that she shouldn't have, like a little bit of seed or other kind of food. Either that or she's got a fungal infection in her left bronchus. So what we had to do today was place an air sac catheter, um, which is basically an ET tube up under the skin through the muscle of the abdominal wall and into an air sac. So she breathes out of that and that means she doesn't need to breathe down through her trachea. Then we could endoscope her, we did a CT scan, we can anaesthetize her through that air sac catheter. Um, and that's why she's breathing so badly at the moment, it's that lung. And, and how, did, how did the owners determine that there was something wrong? So for two days before she came in, she wasn't breathing well. She was breathing more heavy and then she started making a lot of noise when she was breathing. She was coughing a bit, sneezing a bit. So they were sure that there was something wrong, but they didn't realise that she might have actually inhaled something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> this is just not some common little budgery gal. This is no. quite an expensive uh, hobby and a yes. much loved uh, animal. Yeah. It is, yeah. So she's only a year old, um, but the owner has spent an awful lot of money on her. She, um, She's a macaw, so I think she's a, a, a hybrid, maybe a blue and, blue and gold and a scarlet macaw cross. She is a very expensive pet um, and he obviously loves her a lot. She's beautiful, she steps up and she's very friendly and she's, um, yeah, so it's a real shame that this mm. has happened. I'm not sure how her lung's going to go. Um, she, it might, she just may keep going downhill and we may not be able to get that infection mm. under control. Mm. Um, but we're hoping you know, over yeah. the next week that we can do that. Well, fingers crossed and keep us updated. We will. Thank you. No worries.